Okay, so now that we are back, um, I'm actually gonna go and try to authorize this application. Let's see. Click the box. See what that means. I don't know how to do this. Uh, well, let's try without the box first. Authorize application. Now, okay, okay that's what we want to do. Move this up. Move this up right here. Move this over right here. I like to rearrange this to where I can understand to see everything better. And right click this so that I can get the access code. <laughs> Go ahead and click on this one. That's the one I was connected to. Allow. Perfect. So now you do that, go to your copy. Then you put your access code through here. Save access code. Now, what you should see is this right here. This is from my uh, the previous site. Um, so, of course, the more hits I get on this site, it'll definitely show more. So, now got that set up. That's good. Because I have that on my other site. Okay, so now, because I want to make more money. What we're gonna do is add this. So this is done. So hit X. Now I'm gonna add other widgets. Oh, uh, let's see here. What was the other one that I had? The add inserter. Right here. Now let's see if that works. All right. So now, what I want to do I want to make sure you take your time with this. Now I got to set the post automatic insertion. Uh, I'll do after post. I don't want to do too much, so I'll do after post. Save all settings. Now keep in mind this part isn't necessary exactly, but um, if you want to add your ads to more areas on your site, then of course there's something to look at, look into. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So as you can see, for each block, this is where you put your code in. Of course, this is where it, this will be at. You don't have one for the header yet. But you can definitely choose either to align, center it, or whatever. This one's for the post. So we're gonna go here and I'm just gonna create some new ads. Uh 
add units. <coughs> Create this one. Or click on this one. On this one, what I usually like to do is use both. So it depends. You can actually I use like the text and display, but you can also use these. So if you want, of course, to maximize your your options, go ahead and use as many as possible. Do this one. Go ahead and do the mistake side bar add. Okay. Save and get code. Just do that. Come here. Click copy. Insert the code here. Well, hold on. No, because that one actually is responsive. So that's for the sidebar. So we want to create another one. Um, this one actually. This one's at the end of the post. Remember where I put it? You see that? Leave it like that. Then I'll come up here and delete this and create another one. Uh, so this one for the blogs, right? So go ahead and click in feed ads. Wait, hold on. Got a list. Okay, so in article ads. This will be for the post. Now you can actually change all this up if you want to. Uh, this is for the purpose of the video. I'm actually going to leave it the way it is. Um, but, you know what? Well, because it will stand out more. I'll change up some of this. If I do that, I don't like the way it would. On there. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, the description needs it to be different color as well. I think that's perfect. So now, go ahead and change that to be saying post add. Get code. Or you can click this to copy it. And you come up here, insert. Save. Okay. And of course, we'll check it out after. Now I'm going to do one more because I want to do the footer so you guys can see that since that's available. And that one. Um, footer and do the center. As you can see, is how it's going to look. See that? Okay. And then let's create that ad. Click, uh, done. You add this is for the footer, right? To go ahead and do text and display ads. So you can also edit these. Uh, this one, because it's going to be the footer, I want it to be a certain type of way, so we'll leave it horizontal. Um, not that big. Maybe something like this. And we'll call this one. Let's just ink. Footer ad. Show all the URL. I'll leave it the way it is right now. Sorry about that. I guess it's my allergies acting up. Come here. Control. Well, add it in. It's going to be there. Yes. Pretty much all of these. 
Okay. Save all settings. And now what we can actually do, we can try to preview it here. Okay, with the preview I was looking for. But anyway, um we got that option, so let's go to it. It might show it, it might not show it. Sometimes they do take a day or two for them to actually show up. So what I'll do is I'll refresh this page. You might get a, a blank box. It might actually show up. You never know. I'm going to go ahead and refresh that. Alright, like I said, if it doesn't show up automatically, that's okay. We'll come back to that because at the end of the day, I really just want you guys to see. How to add it on the sidebar. So I'm actually going to go ahead and go through it with you guys real quick. I think I already created one for that. So we'll go ahead and use that code, good code. But with this one, it's going to be different. So we come up here. I'm gonna go to appearance and widgets. Uh, let's see. Through custom HTML, right there. Save, and then I'm show you something real quick. We'll see what happens. All right, and that's how it's actually going to look. Now, if your footer doesn't show up automatically, it doesn't show up after some time, no worries, because they're going to come back and do that again. Make sure that it's so. So that's where the ad is actually going to show up within the next day or so. So you want to make sure that you see this, so that way you can, you know, get the hits and stuff that you need. So hopefully this helps you at least get that started when it comes to adding another site. And just let me know if you have any questions and if you have any issues. And I'll definitely help you guys out as well. All right, don't forget to text me at six seven eight eight zero nine eight seven two nine, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. All right, thanks so much for watching.